Hi, today we're going to review the Cavo Gentle Ray 980 nanometer diode laser. Uh, I've gotten the laser, Cavo was nice enough to loan me one, and I've been playing with it for about a week or so, and uh, let's uh, delve into the laser a little bit more. Here is the Cavo 980 laser, the Gentle Ray. Um, it's a pretty compact unit. It isn't very heavy. It's simple to carry in one hand. If you notice, it also has this white piece here, which means that you can take the fiber spool and place it on either side of the unit. Um, it does have a corded foot pedal, and it's pretty compact, like I said. It's not difficult to move around. So let's fire up this unit. Just turn the key, and that engages the laser, and you get a nice screen that comes up. And on this, you can do a bunch of different things. Okay, and we're going to start um, with the indications list, but most importantly, it lists a, a warning up here, which is always wear your safety goggles whenever you're using a laser, uh, especially if you're wearing loops. You need inserts in order to protect your eyes. So we're going to go to the indications list, and in here there are a number of different presets to tell you what you can use this laser for, and you can just scroll through them very quickly. It's an alphabetical list, but we'll just use some of these that are in here. Um, here, just one number 28, which is tissue retraction. We hit it on the touch screen. We click information and it gives you the parameters for this. It talks about tissue retraction, a power of 2 watts in a pulsed wavelength using the fiber which is 300 microns. Now you can get a 200 micron fiber. It also lists the pulse wave as 25 milliseconds with 25 milliseconds off. Very important when you want to consider um, the rest period for the laser and not overheating the tissue. And then it just says to you here, place the fiber approximately 1 to 2 millimeters below the crown margin and gently circumscribe the margin at 360 degrees. Always keep the working angle parallel to the long axis of the tooth. That's because fibers in lasers only cut from the end. They are end cutting. So each one of these different indications has all that information in it. You would press OK, and then you get a setup screen here, which it lists the mode, okay, pulsed or not, or continuous wave. It also, up on top here, tells you how much it, they're anticipating the power coming out of the laser. So there you go. You get about one watt out, and you can set here the time on and the time off for the laser. Now, as you notice, by changing all that, you do change the amount of power coming out of the laser tip. So you've got a lot of control here with this laser. What you would do then, you're going to need to put the handpiece on the fiber, and we'll do that. I'm going to get that out in a sec. Okay, okay now, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this fiber off the spool, okay, and make sure you get enough, plenty enough to get it out, okay. Then, we're going to place it in the handpiece. All right, and this is what the handpiece looks like. It's got a nice cannula. This can all be sterilized. It's got some markings on it to lock the fiber in place. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to place the fiber into the handpiece. Okay, and we just feed the fiber. We just feed the fiber into the end of the handpiece. Okay and it comes out, I hope you can see that, through the cannula. Okay. Then you take this and there's a lock. And you can lock this in place so it doesn't pull back. That's how you insert the fiber into it. When you're done, you'll use these cleaving scissors. Cut off the end of the fiber. If you need to, you can strip some more of the insulation off the fiber and get it back into the sterilizable handpiece. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the laser on, and I have it set right now for aphthous ulcers. We're going to just touch the touch screen, click OK, and all the parameters are set up. If you want to change the parameters, if you want to get information on how to do the procedure, 
that comes up on the touch screen you hit OK now that you're ready to get started you hit the ready button you'll see the light or the screen has changed and I'm just gonna point here with the laser to show that the little red light the aiming beam okay which is a Heaney laser no different than a laser pointer comes on so that you can see where the tip is then what you would do is press the foot pedal and you hear the beeping sound okay that's telling you that the laser is engaged and is firing you take your foot off the pedal and it stops there's also the light on that's flashing on the unit itself to tell you that the unit is firing the laser should there be an emergency all lasers have these nice big red buttons on them you just push that button in and it kills the laser that's it okay turns the laser off so we're gonna turn the laser back on have it fire up and again don't forget your safety glasses and we can go through all the different things here we got you know from aptus ulcers to taking a biopsy or implant recovery let's just go turn that on now we're looking at three watts for an implant recovery all right in continuous mode and it tells you okay um, quick light brushes strokes around the gingival recess inside the fiber to achieve the desired flare now this is continuous you do not want to touch the implant with this diode laser now other indications here are excision of a lesion okay they're talking four watts now and they're telling you this again this is continuous mode but with a 25 millisecond on and off time um, to just you know excise the lesion compared to we'll go to crown lengthening or gingival troughing which a lot of people would use the information there is this is again you know the timers continuous but you're going to have 25 milliseconds on and off and again these are just different parameters and you can set them which is really nice on this laser this laser is upgradable um, you can get a water high so water connection into this laser that would then have water coming out of the handpiece tip to further cool tissue and then you can ramp up the power from there so overall I would tell you I like the feel of it it feels like a very well-made unit it has worked fine in my hands in this office and overall a handpiece is weighted very nicely and overall I think it's a it's a very very nice laser if you're if you're on the in the market for a diode laser you may want to consider the cabo gentle ray 980